What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Now, look, man, I almost never agree with anything that George Call says. He's probably my least favorite basketball personality outside of LeBron Ramon James uh, that I can think of. But in this instance, George Call was 100% correct. He's saying what all of us are thinking or we say without having a public voice. Okay? Know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Today on X, former NBA coach George Call who's had a history of being critical of the Lakers and LeBron Ramon James, continued this. Actually, I think it was last night. He launched a series of tweets against LeBron Ramon James and the Los Angeles Lakers, saying, quote, tired of constant media takes on the Cowboys and Lakers. Both organizations are barely relevant. They get so much coverage because they are highly valued with large fan bases, not because they are championship contending teams. I'll give the Lakers coaching search committee free advice today. LeBron isn't a superstar anymore, and AD will never be one. Now, be sure to use those truths when evaluating candidates, and you might select someone you keep for longer than two seasons. Wait, there are actual living people who believe LeBron is still a superstar today? Yeah, sadly, there still are people that think this guy is still a first option on a championship team. And, you know, these people will when the team inevitably struggle, because you can't win a championship with LeBron's the first option anymore, they do what they always do. It's gonna have, we already know what's going to happen next year. The Lakers are going to struggle, unless somehow they are able to build some sort of super team with a third superstar, or really at this stage, a second superstar, because LeBron is not a superstar, in my opinion, anymore, but whatever. Let's just say a third superstar in the situation. Then maybe the Lakers may make some noise, but they're still not going to win a title. Um, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is Lakers are going to struggle, and somebody's going to become the scapegoat, and it's going to be the same old uh, tried and retread BS. You know. By the way, George Call was also one of the most vocal uh, critics of the bubble titles, and like. Why was that title being celebrated like it really meant something? You know, I mean, yeah, it was a championship, but, you know, not everybody played in the bubble. People weren't really competing like that in the bubble. There was no crowds. There was no road games. It was basically, uh, you know, the Lakers were the only team allowed to practice in the bubble. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I, 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 that, you talk about having built-in advantages. And then, you know, at the end of the day, uh, they play in an empty gym and they win a champion. That's, man, that, that cookie-cutter Mickey Mouse two-third, well, one-half of an actual real ring title. Come on, man. Then they have this tournament championship that don't nobody respect, but the Lakers had a ceremony because LeBron is so addicted to pomp and uh, and, and, you know, a ceremony and being honored and being patted on the back. You know, it is what it is. But uh, for once, kudos to George Call for telling the truth. 